God knows that. The Bible, Bible says that we have the unpardonable sin. Now we may not understand fully what is the unpardonable sin, so I need to explain about this. Um, there is a sin that we cannot be forgiven. Let's just say sin itself, sin itself, okay? If Jesus can save us from the sin, sure, then there must not have any kind of sin He cannot save from certain sin. He must save us from all the sin, not, not from just a certain sin, I mean. If He can save us from the sin, that sin meaning to say all the sin that we may commit. But the Bible says that there is an unpardonable sin. Actually, Jesus is the one who says. So understanding this is quite important. And because we will escape this sin, then many to say our sin will be all wiped away. The first verse that we need to open is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Can you read it together? Yes, this is the basic, basic heart of the Jesus. If we come to Him, let us vision together. Come now. The God is a saying that come now. That even your sin are like a scarlet. They shall be as of white as snow. Though they are red like a crimson, they shall be as wool. So if we come to Jesus, if we come to the God, God wants to forgive everything. Everything. So sin itself, there's no sin. Even you break the Sabbath, even you break the killing, even you break the stealing, even you break whatever, that sin will be forgiven once you come to the Jesus. Doesn't matter what kind of sin you have. Doesn't matter. This is the basic thing that if you come to Jesus, He will forgive everything that I problem is if we don't come to him that turns to unpardonable sin understand okay let's read it one more time <laughs> Hmm. The Jesus himself explained very clearly. I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven man. So any kind of shame, all the sins that we may commit will be forgiven. But just the one sin, which is about whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, to understand this is very important. Whoever speak against the Holy Spirit, meaning to say, I am against the God, against the Holy Spirit, against the Jesus Christ, against, meaning to say, I stand opposite side of the Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. All the sin we make can be forgiven once we come to Jesus. But when we decide to stand against the other side, I decide, okay, 
from now on, I will give up the law of God. I will sin. Meaning to say, I against the Holy Spirit. Even the Holy Spirit keep on saying that, come, come to me. You can be forgiven. And I said, I am my love. And I decide, make a decision that I will against the Holy Spirit. That sin cannot be forgiven. Why? Why that sin cannot be forgiven? Because we cannot ask the forgiveness anymore. Once we decide to against the Holy Spirit. Can you read it? Jesus can say that when he go back to the heaven, he will send the Holy Spirit to us. The work of Holy Spirit is like this. He will convict the words of sin. So meaning to say he will let us know what is a sin or not. And of the righteousness, he will tell us what is good, what is bad. And he will tell us about the judgment is coming. And he will guide you into all truth. Who is going to guide us to the all the truth? The Holy Spirit. So when He tried to guide us to the old truth, and we say we against the Holy Spirit, can we come into the truth or not? We cannot. That is the reason why it the behavior against the Holy Spirit become unpardonable sin. Whenever we reject. I know this is the truth, but I against the truth. The many say I against the Holy Spirit. The people who are against the Holy Spirit cannot come into the truth and they cannot be saved because they will not ask forgiveness anymore. In other words, they know this is the wrong, but they are willingly sin. Why? They decide to choose the sin. If they decide to choose the sin, that sin will not be forgiven. But let's just say it this way. You know that is a sin. We mostly know before we sin, we know. Okay, we sin it. I know. And I need out again. Even though I know I willingly sin it, but I need down again. And what if I ask the forgiveness? Do you think Jesus will be giving us the forgiveness or not? Jesus will give the forgiveness. The problem is we don't need down anymore. Then He cannot forgive us. Even we willingly sin it. But if we don't confess our sin because our heart becomes so hardened and because we love the sin too much, that status will not ask any forgiveness anymore. And that sin will not be forgiven. Okay, the Bible says that. And then the lawlessness one will be revealed. Whom the Lord will consume the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. When Jesus is come, the people, lawlessness people, they cannot stand.
sad, but they will be destroyed. The vision is like this, very simple. Because these people never asking the forgiveness. Because they never repent from their sin. And with all unrighteousness, deceit among those who perish because they did not receive the love of truth. The reason is what? Because they did not receive the love of truth. Who is a Jesus Christ? Because they didn't ask. Because they didn't receive that Jesus forgive their sins. They didn't receive that love. And they keep sinning because they want to stay with the sin. They will be perished. Or may be condemned who did not believe the truth. So those people who is spoken by the Holy Spirit, you know what? That is not the truth. The Sunday is not the truth. The Sabbath is the truth. What they do? Uh, it seems like Sunday is wrong, but I will try to keep the Sunday. They are against the Holy Spirit. And they will be condemned because they know what is the truth, but they did not receive receive the truth and believe the truth that sin comes to unpardonable sin i had a one worker before she know somebody is the truth somebody is a commandment to god but because of her practice worshiping sunday because of her relationship the church member in in their churches she just tell me like this Boss, I know. I cannot explain you why I keep the Sunday. But my God will understand me. And she said, It's okay. If God give me the punishment, I will receive it. Very dangerous, right? Very dangerous. And she left the Sabbath. She left the, the truth. So I told her, you know what? That's your unpardonable sin. Because you are already against the words of God. The people against the words of God, they cannot be saved. Because they are against the Holy Spirit, which is spoken to their hearts. She says, I cannot explain that. Sure, she cannot explain. Because the thought belief is not from the Bible. Her faith is not from the Bible. That what she is believed for. That become unpardonable sins. Why? Because they don't have a belief, the word of God. This, this verse has made me cry a, a lot. But I study for this verse a lot also. Because if this is happen, meaning the people who make a sin after they know the truth is all going to be perished. But this verse is not going to speak about it. Can you read it together? Yes, this is the truth. The sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth. Meaning to say, you know that we must not lie. We know the truth. So is that meaning to say that when you vote, but you're going to die? Is that so? Then David should be die because he knows that the, the killing people is a sin. But he killed the Uriah. What does it mean? Willingly. Constantly. Without repent. Keep having against the law. So this Bible verse is a saying that you know the truth. You must not adultery. Then you know the truth. Then you keep having adultery because you like it. But you don't like the commandments of the God. Then those people is keep resisting the Holy Spirit and they're going to die. If you have the sin, lying. You know lying is bad. So even you lie, if you ask the forgiveness, God will give the forgiveness. As adultery, as a murder, killing people, saying things. But if you don't repent 
And if you enjoy killing people, they are the people willingly they make a sin. And those people cannot be saved. Understand what is the willingly? Okay. Can you read it? Yes. This man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. Okay, he break the Sabbath. Is that meaning to say he should die? And God say that the man must surely be put to death. Looks like no mercy. So we can misunderstand this man died because he broke the Sabbath. Does God change or not? God never change. So meaning to say we should die if we break the Sabbath this day? What, what does that mean? The older people should be die. What does it mean then? Why he must to put into the death? The Sunday people who keep the Sunday, they said, you know what? If you want to keep the Sabbath. Those people who didn't keep the Sabbath, God said, kill them all. Kill him. So you should kill them all the people who didn't keep the Sabbath. That's the Sabbath day now. Well, he is a screw the truth. He has no understanding of what the Bible. That's why he's a saying that. If we break the Sabbath, it is not reason that we die. Because when we confess, even we break the Sabbath, we will live. But this man is different. This man, his attitude was different. When we look, second, first, we can read it. I can read it. But this person who does anything presumptuously, whether he is native born or a stranger, that one brings reproach on the Lord, and he shall be cut off from among his people, because he has despised the words of the Lord. Meaning to say, because he against the word of the Lord and has broken his commandment. Listen. That person shall be completely cut off. His guilt shall be upon him. The numbers 1530, 31. And this is 30 to 35, right? So after this speaking, there's a saying about this man. Another one, another meaning, this man who cut the tree, gathering the tree sticks on the Sabbath day, he was doing presumptuously and because he despised the word of God. Meaning to say, this man, it's not because he broke the Sabbath, but he did sin even though that is a bad. He knows that. He must not work anything, but he willingly he made a sin. He against the Holy Spirit. He against the God. So God cannot do with him anything. Why? Because he stands for his sin. He against the Holy Spirit. That is the reason why he put the death. Understand? It's not because he, he broke the Sabbath. Because he decided to stand for his sin. Understand? Even you break the Sabbath, it's okay. If you feel guilty and knee down and asking for the forgiveness. But that guiltiness and that asking forgiveness must be true from your heart. Not because you are going to be, you know, put to death or because you are afraid. No, it's not. From your bottom heart, truly you should repent. And that repent, even you kill people, will be forgiven. Which is a bigger, bigger sin? Breaking the Sabbath or killing the people? 
I think killing people seems more bigger, isn't it? But we must remember the David who killed a warrior. He got forgiven. Why? Because he did it against the Holy Spirit. When the prophet come and say about his, his sin, he says that, I made a sin against the Lord. Then he repent immediately in the spot. He has put to death because he despised the word of God, meaning to be he against the Holy Spirit. That's why he never had the pardon. He never had the forgiveness. Understand? Okay. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit, O God, by whom you were sealed for the days of redemption. Bible says that. Do not make the Holy Spirit sad by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Because the Holy Spirit is the one who is going to seal you, the seal of God. Holy Spirit says that, you know, Evelyn, you know the truth. We need to keep the Sabbath. And when your love is small, it's, you may you may can become ah oh, this Sabbath I'm really sick or I'm really tired. I want to really take a rest. So you didn't go to church. Do you think the God will say that you on pardon of sin I will kill you? No, it's not. God will say that you come to me again. And I believe come to God again. Lord, I'm really sorry. I did wrong. Forgive my sin. But I will try to follow your law again then that sin will be forgiven. The reason Jesus come is to forgive our sin. It's not destroy us. The reason Jesus come is to save the world, not destroy the world. That we are living in the period of grace. But just imagine, because if God gives the forgiveness, we keep sinning. Is that okay or not? If we keep sinning, willingly, because I can be forgiven, I know. If you repent again, yes, the Jesus will be forgiven. But later on, you cannot ask for forgiveness anymore. Why? Because yourself is already enjoying the sin. And that time, you will not ask for forgiveness anymore. Because sin already and you are controlled by your sin. The Holy Spirit keep on telling us, Danny, that's wrong. You know that's wrong. And Evelyn, that's not the truth. And Evelyn knows what is not true. But when we keep having that sin in us, the sin will become unpardonable sin. Because that sin brings us the death. Can we read it together? The Jesus said, though actually this is what the Paul wrote about the God. If anyone draw back, I know the truth, then Okay, we can go forward, but sometimes we fall. The righteous person is not the people who don't fall. Righteous people who rise again and again walk forward the truth. A people, there are people, I know the truth and I try to follow, and, but one day they turn away and they just go back to their sin. Like the people who knows that what is a Sabbath and they don't mind it. Ah, okay. Anyway, I will keep the Sunday. This kind of people who draw back. God.
clearly says that my soul has no pleasure in him. So, Jesus cannot forgive that sin. Why? Because he chose to sin, but not to choose. When we have decide, my life, I will keep this sin. Then, that sin will not be forgiven. Because you already choose the, choose the sin. That is the reason why the unpardon of a sin, the same with Joshua, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. The Joshua is saying to the Israelite people, and he said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. He said that, me and my house will serve the Lord. You choose. Why? Whatever you choose, that will become your unpardonable sin. Unpardonable sin means, I choose to sin. That choice cannot be forgiven. Why? Because you have a freedom, stay with the sin or stay with God. Holy Spirit keeps saying to us, you know, Joe, that sin is wrong. You should stop it. Evelyn, that sin is wrong. You need to, you must not do it. Donnie, that's wrong. You should not stop. You should stop. Wally, you should stop that sin. The Holy Spirit keeps saying to us because He let us know what is the truth. And I just said, ah, Lord, I know that one, but I will not that now. I will, I will do it. I will stop it later, 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 later. They keep resisting, keep against the Holy Spirit. So what will happen? That will be because we will lost the chance to ask him the forgiveness. And when we cannot ask him the forgiveness anymore, then we will remain as a sinner. And that sin cannot be forgiven. We have a choice to do this. Will we choose the Lord 